Hi, I just want to show you a short video of my Sansui G G-5000 stereo receiver. Really nice condition. The faceplate, really decent. The only mark that I see is a little mark here on the volume knob on the faceplate. There's a couple little edge marks. Not too bad. The case, pretty decent, but it's got that veneer case. These are real popular receivers and it's very common. There are a couple little marks here and there. Let me show you the sides. Still has its original stickers in the back there. Also, this can get switched to 220 on the inside of the unit. It's got a little pull-out guy you can switch over so it can operate on your 220 volts. It is set up for your normal US voltage right now. So, which is uh, 120 volts. Just want to show you a little condition it has all four of its original feet we set all the bias all the adjustments on this checked all the lights all the lights are functioning clean deox we totally serviced the unit uh, everything is nice and balanced that's your left and right There's good volume on this this actually has 45 watts per channel this unit now let me switch it over to our radio here I had a CD in on that. Let me find a music station here. It's a real good tuner. Actually, picks up a lot of good station. So you can browse it. For a truck or SUV this summer, McGuire's. I'll we'll show you. Does pick up a lot of stations here on it, and uh, that's actually where you're muting on. Now you take your muting off, you will not hear all that noise in between. See how quiet that is. Very nice tuning knob, and actually glides really smooth. This is a real nice Sansui unit at 45 watts per channel. It has your bass, treble, your balance. Like I say, is what's important on a lot of these is that you have a tuner, single meter, which your tuner, when you go a little out of balance, you'll see it go to one way to the, to the other, to, the, to your center. And then your single strength is pretty high. We're almost into five. And you have a stereo light that comes on when you're in stereo on this. Now we have a CD hooked up to the auxiliary here. Right there on it. And that cuts your stereo light off, your single strength off. And this will run straight up your tuning meter. We put that back over to our radio station there. Has a tone D feet, which will make these flat up. Your subsonic filter, loudness on, off. This has a lot of power, this unit. It has all, like I said, it has all four of its original feet. The case ain't in the bad shape, but it doesn't look that bad. I've seen them a lot worse on these veneer cases, so just want to show you a view of the case here. Pretty decent, you know, it's not too bad. It looked good on a case. Looks really nice for the old 70s look here. It has tape monitor one and two. You can hook up a CD player. It has your FM, AM, phono. You can hook up your phonograph to it. Auxiliary, which I have a CD player hooked up to it now. That's that right there. Real nice looking unit, has a lot of good power, and like I say, we totally service these, and you will enjoy this unit. Thanks for watching my video.